In this video, I'm going to describe the eliciting students' ideas practice in the context of the mega drought in the Colorado River Basin data puzzle. The goal of this practice is to elicit student ideas about an opening scenario. This, these could be images, a video, a demonstration that has similarities to the science investigation presented later in the data puzzle. Student experiences, ideas, and language can be used as resources to help students make sense of complex science phenomena. And so it's really important at the start that we bring out these student resources so that we can leverage them later on to help them make sense of, of the science investigation. Wanted to pause here real quick and say that um, the listening students ideas practice is not represented in the student worksheet. So instead, um, teachers have facilitated this practice in a number of different ways. Some have um, Utilize the opening scenario and the soliciting students' ideas practiced uh, with a warm up prompt so the students would respond in their science notebooks. Others have utilized the think pair share strategy, and others still have used small groups of students and whiteboards and have them uh, respond to the opening scenario that way. So, up to you, just know that it's not in the student worksheet. Um, all that said, the opening scenario for this uh, data puzzle, the mega drought in the Colorado River Basin, is a prompt uh, asking students to think of a time when they have experienced a drought or really dry conditions. We want to know where and when it happened and what the weather was like and how it may have impacted the students. We want them to be prepared to share their ideas, their experience uh, with their class. Uh, and so giving students some time to work individually or in groups and then bringing it to the whole, whole class when you're facilitating um, that whole class discussion, you wanna key in on certain ideas that you hear that may come back um, and be useful later on in the data puzzle. Um, when students are making connections between the science investigation and this opening scenario. So things like the weather, was it, if it was, you can might hear from students, it was really hot, temperatures were really warm for long periods of time, or maybe it didn't rain for a long period of time, or maybe it rained really hard early in a season and then not for a while after that. So paying attention to those weather extremes, um, both temperature and precipitation, Maybe it impact, how did that impact students, especially, you know, if, if they're fishing or boating or if, you know, they're trying to use water for their crops and they're having trouble doing that. So bringing those experiences to the forefront as well, being sensitive to student experiences and impacts, but those are all going to be useful things, whether it impact uh, later as, as students engage with the, the investigation in this mega drought data puzzle. Once we've elicited those initial ideas, we want to um, help students understand the difference between a drought and a mega drought. So every year, some parts of the world experience droughts, these drier than normal conditions, but most of these droughts last for a short period of time. However, in, in some cases, these droughts can last for decades and these decadal droughts that are called mega droughts. And so we want students to think, wow, you know, maybe they've experienced a drought in their, in their communities, but what about have they ever experienced a drought that lasted 20 or more years? And, and if not, what might that look like in their community if they did experience a mega drought? Moving into uh, introducing the, the featured scientist for this data puzzle, Seth Ahrens. Um, you know, he is a scientist among many that, that are studying the current mega drought conditions in the Colorado River Basin. And the Colorado River Basin is highlighted in this map in the bottom in this light blue color. It's divided into two um, basins, the upper and lower basin. And the, for this for this data puzzle, um, we just combine these two basins and call this entire area the Colorado River Basin. So that's where data sets are are coming from, and that's what we're referring to with the the entire Colorado River Basin. And this is a region in the Southwest United States where 40 million people live, and it's experiencing a mega drought, a drought that began in the year 2000. So that's 22 years of drought 
And so Seth and others are trying to figure out what's causing the mega drought in the Colorado River Basin and, and how the mega drought is impacting all the living things, humans, plants, animals that call the region home. And so uh, given that context, uh, students are now ready to engage with part two, identifying important science ideas um, and learn more about the, the science investigation presented in the data puzzle.